Hi. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure working demo of Cleverance Warehouse 15 software. Warehouse 15 is software for working in manufacturing, in warehouses, in a store, on delivery, in a port, basically everywhere. In this video for software presentation, we will use Honeywell EDA 50 device. Uh, warehouse 15 allows you to manage all front-end warehouses tasks in any warehouses from a plant warehouse to distribution center and electronics commerce warehouses. So let's follow to the installation. On the Cleverance website in the download section we can find the link on the Warehouse 15 installer. This link you can find in the description below also. Let's download and install it and I will guide you through the installation. After we agreed with the license agreement, we have this page on which we can choose which core system we want to integrate with. Core system is the main system in which you store your inventory, orders and invoices. For today I will select demo to install a database with demo data without integration with any core system. But in other videos I will show you how to configure Warehouse 15 with some real integrations. On this page we have to choose license level. This is a very important step which determines prices and available functions. I'm gonna select standard, uh, which is plenty enough for demo purposes. Standard license has most of the function except for real-time work with the core system and some other minor functions. Next we have to choose a method for exchanging data with mobile devices. Real-time exchange is not available here because previously we chose the standard license level. For demo purposes we don't need real-time exchange anyway. Besides I don't plan to exchange via Wi-Fi, I will choose wireless option. Uh, by the way, wireless option is very useful in cases you have a poor Wi-Fi coverage in the warehouses or you have a security reason not to use Wi-Fi. At this point the installer downloads and installs the platform. The Warehouse 15 product is based on a Cleverance platform which provides all sorts of interesting things that we will talk about later. Immediately after installation, something like this application will open. Depending on the installation options we have selected before, version of Warehouse 15, content of this window might be different. If installed the web version or cloud version, we will have a web page with similar content. Now we have Warehouse 15 installed and database deployed on a PC. So now we need to install the app on the mobile devices and connect the device to our database. For this task there is an installer for mobile devices as part of a platform, but for Android devices we better use a plain APK file, which we can find in the download section of Clarence website. Let's have a look at mobile device app. I'm gonna show it with screencast so you can see it better. Here we have a long list of mobile operations. Uh, receiving, pick and ship, write off, goods return. It's nine operations here in total. Since we have a demo, it wants us to activate it and we will activate it later. So in the side menu, you can see settings and GUI preference, in which you can change localization, change language, change font size. Uh, also, in the side menu, you can find uh, about the application. And here you can find uh, some information about device and uh, software and license you are using. Let's try to do something using mobile device and go for receiving. In the demo, we already have some uh, sample documents that we can play with. Depending uh, on the business process, we can have a supporting document for our mobile task, or we can create a new one on spot without uh, supporting document. So let's open first document, and uh, here we see a list of items that needs to be scanned to check if everything is in place and in the right quantities. On the website, we have a page with demo barcodes. Uh, there's a link on the web page you can find in the description. Uh, so let's just scan some barcodes and see what will happen. So mm, the app counts a single scan of this barcode as one item. Here we can either keep scanning one by one or manually enter the quantity of the product. So as you can see, get in. So let's click next. The app keeps track of what we scanned according to the supporting document. So we've tried to scan uh, on uh, or enter more than we expected, it will stop that. This is by default, but it could be changed in settings. Uh, some other barcode may already contain quantity in it or other data that is ubiquitous. Some are supported already, some can be configured with templates. It could be changed in the settings too. 
For now, let's check what happens if some items are utilizing the batch or lot number of the product. So uh, we try to scan this barcode is in condition and have series in it. And now, as you can see, the application proposes to fill the series product name, date and uh, number. So let's just make series number something like one, two, three, four, date. 12 12 12 and some test name we don't have we don't need any misc so here we have receiving we can click next and as you can see we got uh, dropped out from our document because we don't have any uh, activated license in here so let's try to activate the application so we press ok and go into the activate license as you can see here, we see a disclaimer that you can activate only being connected to the real deployed database. So to do that, we need the scan barcode for connecting to our database. Uh, we can find the connection barcode in the database manager. An icon for it we can see on a desktop. This application allows you to manage databases and have completely separated data from a mobile device. For instance, separate customers for houses or original database or whatever. We can scan the connection barcode now. As you can see, application connecting to the real database. Here we can press skip. And now we say and now we see the same list of operations but this time the app is connected to our uniquely installed database so the changes in the database will be reflected in the app now let's have a look back at our desktop here on database manager we can launch a bunch of other applications like license manager for example the license can also be managed on a website in a cabinet but sometimes it's useful to have an offline version Next one is XLS CSV connector, which allows us to transfer documents without Wi-Fi connection using USB cable. Installation manager with which you can deploy APK on a device with USB cable or manage a specific version for it updates through Wi-Fi. On each of these applications, we will make short videos later. And the first one here is customization app, which is heard of Cleverance platform. In it, you can create your own business process using simple visual programming tools. So let's try it out. First, uh, for example, let's change the order of operation. To do it, uh, we need to open the configuration tool. Edit configuration. Mm, so now we have to choose users and group and find uh, our mobile device user group. Here we have a list of operations that are available for this group. And here we can find and browse directories and move it to the first place. And for example, we don't have uh, any locations, warehouses. We can just turn that off. And uh, well, let's just get rid of most of them so we can see the changes clearly. Now we can save. And... Uh, so this, uh, so as you can see, the list of operations changed. Now there is also a even more neat thing in the Clarence platform. It is a developed mode. Uh, to turn it on, we have to go into settings menu, debugging on the device, and turn it on. And here you can see the IP address of connection. And uh, we can now in configuration choose connect and Android client. And now uh, we have to enter our IP address here and connect to it. So now we're in debug mode. Uh, so let's try it out. For example, if we want to change uh, the browse directory name, we have to find it and simply Put a new name to it. So, for example, let's call it list items. And here we see it's already changed. 
and uh, in a debug mode you also can see where in code you are currently in so for example let's go for pick and ship and i just created some document here let's open it and we can see where we're at so for example let's go back so here we have uh, the settings of our menu so for example we want to change something with the buttons we are using so here we have menu buttons and here is a list of our buttons so just for example we can try to change exit into a red one so it would be more warning so here we have an editor which is using html like code for describing our rendering settings so we can just make something like this color red oops a little bit wrong here and save it and after we press ok we see that the bottom changed its color so what we can see here is uh, order of operations and its main logic it may seem scary but it's actually quite simple so basically what we can see here is uh, what happens if you touch any of the button so here we have like visually uh, we have visual directions to each and every operation which gonna happen after you press a button so if you press first you go like here and for the second one you go here on operation and so every operation and every list of menu have its own direction same as go for any other part of the code so for example this is uh, we have operation number seven in which you can see we can go after this operation into main process and uh, you can end up in this operation after you press it no in create on pda or if you press no in this logical operation so i think this will be enough for today thank you for watching see you later bye